Okay, Dad, we're, we're live. Daddy O. Well, we're kind of live, but I am filming. The oh. camera is rolling. Okay. Hi, Dad. Hi. Hi. So, where are we? What are we doing? What have we got? It came in back end of 2023. What came in, Father? Focus, one litre, EcoBoost. One litre, Focus, EcoBoost. And what were the symptoms, Dad? Towed in by the RSC with a report of turbo, possibly passing oil. Yes. It was black. Yes. Um, initial test, did a relative cranky compression test. Yes. It was good. Check the ignition energy. A relative compression test. Now, explain to our viewers exactly, what, in simple terms, what a relative compression test is. We're looking at the amount of work done by the start motor using the battery to overcome compression. Wait, what you're saying is a non-intrusive test on vehicle on engine performance, correct? Takes seconds. Takes seconds. Takes seconds, tells you a great deal about the pressure in the cylinder during compression. Okay. Um, checked ignition energy, hate the word spark. So Simple you... test. Yeah. Pull the coil off each plug. Yeah. Listen to the amount of energy crossing the gap. Yeah. Quite happy with that. Took the plugs out, cleaned them. Okay. Uh, obviously did a serial check first. Of it course. Indicated number three has been the problem. When you say serial check, you mean you plugged in a diagnostic computer and you yeah. extracted any what's called vehicle diagnostic trouble codes, yeah. or as we used to call them, DTCs. Yeah. Yes. 303 was the, the code. Misfire number three. Number three. Oh, and what have we got here, Dad? What separates, what's, what, okay, what, what's benefits of using a specialist garage? What have we got here? Well, without any... Uh, great intrusion into the engine apart from taking the injectors out we'll come to that yes right to establish that the likelihood of it being mechanical was uh, reduced to virtually zero yes the possibility of being ignition virtually reduced to zero yes. i didn't use a scope at this point i could have done don't use a sledgehammer to crack an egg um the plug came out number three wet oh which made me suspect that it was possibly an injector well shall we jump in to have a look at the injectors father what have we, what have we got here We've got the three injectors. What's this green shiny thing? It's an injector test bench. Oh, oh, let's have a look. Come on, talk us through it. Ready? I'll push this button. You can push that button. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's, it's pissing like a donkey, Dad. It's like pissing like I do these days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Well, <laughs> look at the plugs out, wait the boy, Dad. That's all that matters. Well. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we've done a flat. Oh, Jesus that Christ. explains a lot about my problems. That explains that a lot about your problems, Dad. <laughs> oh, what I wouldn't do, I wouldn't stick your nozzle in there, Pops. I really wouldn't. No, no, no. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ. Right. So we've done a, flow, done a flow test across all three injectors. And number three, as you can see, is stuck wide open. Should be a cover on that. Okay. So, when the engine's running, I'm surprised you're not an engine with that, really. That's really bad. Hey, I haven't looked at the oil yet to see Ooh. if it's... Um, more wash? More well, wash. That's it's really bad. It is bad, actually. That's terrible. Yeah. That is definitely pissing like a well, I'm going to go for all three injectors. I'm not, I'm not going to... Well, you might... Well, of all... Well, the reason... The logic behind that is all three injectors have got the same mileage. The same amount of fuel has been delivered for all of them. Yeah, there's another good reason I've come to that choice. Yes. Pulling the rail out... Yes. Two of the injectors were so tight in the ah, aperture. Right, okay. They were stuck in the bore. You, you distort them, can't you, the body? So I had to spray injector crack release agent. Yeah. Wiggle them a bit, yeah. which is a big no no. Yeah. Use a spring puller. Okay. With a bar. And, the, and the, they came out. Yeah. Uh, but I won't be reusing them. Because they're relatively fragile, aren't they? I mean, they're, they're an aluminium body, they're very, very fragile. Any distortion down there and the injector is dead, basically. Okay. Um, and in order to get that part out, wiggly. I actually carefully kept spinning the injector where possible. Uh, again, just where, to where, get, where, where they grip, they can just twist, to get twist, some, twist the body. some lube down on the seal. Okay, the so, come out. so to fix the focus, new injector, to fix your pissing problem, I suggest a doctor. Absolutely. Okay. And no, no turbos were used in the repair of this car. Okay. 